Welcome to my backyard on a uh, beautiful March afternoon. It's about 1.30 out here today, about 75 degrees, something like that. And uh, I don't know how it is at your house, but it's been, it's been kind of a pollen bomb here. I've washed my car twice. I've sprayed it off. Every afternoon, it's just worse. So today I got up and cleaned off my back porch, my back patio. Washed the table, washed the chairs. Just got off all that yellow sticky gunk and uh, put a Boston butt on. You can see that right there. You can't see the Boston butt, but you can see the two-toned Weber grill. That's because I like that top better, it seals. And uh, so hopefully we're gonna have us some pulled pork tonight and pulled pork egg rolls, guys. That's what we're gonna do tonight. We're gonna take, we're gonna take the pulled pork and the coleslaw and roll it up in egg rolls and deep fry them. I had them at a restaurant a couple weeks ago. They were crazy good. So uh, this will be my first time trying that. So hopefully that'll turn out pretty good. But I'm gonna sit out here this afternoon and uh, enjoy this, all right? And I've had one of these before, one of these gray cliffs. Wasn't impressed, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was a little bit disappointed you can get them really cheap online. I thought I'd take a shot. And, uh, but if you go to the Gray Cliff factory in Nassau, they're super expensive. I mean, they're like 20, $25 there. And I know it's a tourist thing and they take advantage of that, but still, I wasn't impressed when I had it. So I thought I would give, give it another shot. And um, overall, just looking at it, right? It's, can you see it? I hope there's not too much of a glare here. You know, construction wise, it's nothing special. You know, my humidor is set pretty good. This one seems a little dry and I don't know. I'm gonna have to check the rest of them out. I do kind of dig the cap, but you know, the last uh, few smokes I've had out of my cigar were really, really good. So I don't know what's going on here. Maybe this is just, just my imagination. I don't know, but I would expect a really dark Maduro cigar like that to be a little have a little better shine to it. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. All right. It is windy out here, guys. It's worse in the front. We've got a little bit of a break from it here. We have a, I've got a pond right in front of me and uh, some trees. And of course the house is blocking a lot of that wind. I'm not an expert on cigars. I'm not an expert on cigar uh, smoking or lighting cigars, but I'll tell you, it drives me nuts when I watch guys light cigars and they don't toast the end of it first. Take time to toast it. It helps with your burn and the overall experience of the cigar. pretty big one I'll tell you I could tell it was gonna have a decent draw when I picked it up it's um, it's firm but not hard and it's not soft and squishy Maybe right there but I may have just did that if you're buying a cigar in a shop guys I'm not telling you to go into the shop and and squeeze them and handle them a whole lot but you do need to check them out because you come home with one that's soft, you're gonna have a terrible time. You are. Okay, so I'm just taking two, two puffs off of this thing. And so maybe a little better than the last one I had, even though it was the same. I am just drinking beer. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. A good whiskey drink would be good, but I like beer. It's like the song, I like beer. Makes me a jolly good fellow. Uh, but it's, it's a beer kind of afternoon to me. I have a whiskey tonight. But so far, it's a little smooth. It doesn't have much of a taste. Just 
to the actual cigar without smoking it. When I had a, a smoke in a, a, a Cohiba the other night, I think I did a video on that one, and it had a really just nice, it wasn't flavored of course, but it had a nice taste just to the outside of the tobacco. And um, like I said, like, like almost like a chewing tobacco, like a beech nut or red man kind of a flavor, not that strong, but this doesn't have nothing. Nothing. There's nothing here. Um, that's not bad. It's not a bad thing. Sometimes nothing is good, right? But uh, but anyway, I'm going to sit out here and I'm going to enjoy this. And um, it doesn't have a taste like a cheap cigar. You know, a cheap cigar, a budget stick. Sometimes it tastes like, like a budget stick. And that's not good. And I know a lot of guys, you know, hey, you smoke what you can afford. That's what I do. Sometimes I get to smoke a nice cigar. Sometimes I'm looking for deals. But a cheap cigar has a cheap cigar taste. Has a cheap cigar kind of after taste. It leaves in the back of your mouth. And a really smell on your fingers that I, I don't like. Um, you know, and if you smoke one at night, I don't care how much mouthwash or how many times you brush your teeth, you're gonna have that taste on your tongue. A good cigar, most of the time, won't do that. So far, this doesn't have that, uh, that aftertaste. I'm getting a little bit kind of in the back of my mouth when I hold it back, but it's not bad. It's kind of just a little bit of extra. I am drinking it with beer. Drinking with beer, I'm smoking it with beer. But, um, you know, I think I'm gonna enjoy the cigar. I don't know that I'm gonna order any more of them. Um, there's too many too many good cigars out there uh, that you can get for a good deal and uh, but anyway hope you enjoy your Saturday afternoon all right we're about seven and a half minutes in here I'm gonna sit out here watch my pond all the green pond scum float by and I'm gonna relax guys because that's why I smoke these things to relax after a hard day and I worked hard this morning I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day I hope you do too, all right? Y'all have a good one.